Hi guys, welcome to Honest Straightforward Reviews, where you get unbiased and unfunded reviews. The Apple Magic Trackpad 2 is quite different from the original, as it has a larger touch surface, a new attractive minimalistic design, new battery, and a built-in force touch. Force touch is the ability for the device to mimic the feeling of a mechanical click. This device has no moving parts other than the power switch, making it more durable. In this second gen, they have taken out the need for batteries and now you have the device with rechargeable batteries, making it sit flat and thin just like the Apple Magic Keyboard 2. It is also rectangular, which enables it to better track movement by mapping it to the display. The trackpad is larger than the one I use on my MacBook Pro 16 inch 2019. It is the largest, which is awesome. You got really big real estate to play with. The new battery is very impressive and only needs charging once every two months for me. A quick two minute charge gives you nine hours of usage while it takes two hours to fully charge the device. The device can be charged with a lightning cable which it comes with. These are the same cables that you would get in AirPods, AirPods Pro, iPhone, etc. Making it very convenient to recharge. The lightning cable is also used to set up the device making setup process a walk in a park. Force Touch uses a haptic engine to mimic a mechanical click. There are four sensors that monitor a tap, click and a deep click. The benefit of this is that one can click anywhere on the surface for deep click to work. This can also be configured. The Magic Trackpad has an array of gestures which make it useful and versatile. You can use two, three or up to four fingers to use a tap, click or swipe to use features like secondary click, looking up and data detection, zoom, smart zoom, scroll, rotate, turn pages, change apps in full screen mode, uh, notification center, mission control, app exposure, launchpad and show desktop, making it super useful. One thing that is missing in my opinion is to be able to create customized gestures. The thing that hold it back is the price, which is $179 for the silver one and $229 for the space gray one. The price is very expensive, especially considering that it just for the space gray color, you would have to fork out another $50. It only works with Bluetooth 4 and above devices. While it is very expensive and there are other trackpads at a very reduced price, I would recommend these if you are using a Mac or an iMac, iPad or any of Apple's devices as these really offer up a lot of features that you will miss out with the cheaper models. Thank you. All right, guys, that's it from me for today. Uh, let me know what you think about my video in the comments. And if you want to support my work and you like to see more videos, please do subscribe and give me thumbs up. Hope you guys have a great day. Thanks.